It's uh, Rajiv Kumar, the Chief Election Commissioner, taking uh, everyone through the date of polling in Maharashtra. 20th it is, and then the 23rd. Jharkhand votes in two phases. Counting is on the 23rd of November, uh, which is a very special day for me, but for completely personal reasons, nothing to do with counting, which has landed up on a very special private day. But anyway, <laughs> such is life. Now, uh, five phases last time, two phases this time, uh, Yashwan. So Jharkhand, the process being truncated. Maharashtra, one, one T20 thing I think CC has decided, okay. Aryapar. Aryapar. Now, you have to single phase. Man, he is right about Jharkhand. You know, Jharkhand has, for a <coughs> really long time, has half the districts under the Naxal operation. So they need to be very, very careful about the uh, polling, not just the polling agent, but all the uh, election commission staff which works on that, and, and, and that's a legit, legit thing to do. But, uh, yeah, I guess that ECC has decided that, okay, we intend to show with everybody criticizing how many phases and everything, you want one date, we shall do it in one day. If they do this uh, in a really good way in Maharashtra, I guess the next one would be asking the next round of assembly election probably in one, one single day in one go. Sudhir, uh, Suryavanshi joins us. A single phase election, if this is drawn and stretched out, I would imagine the formation with more resources may have had the advantage. This is now a one day T20 style baseball R Yapa. Yeah, I think this is a good also. You know, Maharashtra is a very peaceful state. Uh, in a way, no, you know, major, uh, you know, untoward incident happens. So it's a better, key, uh, you know, election commission finally announced the one phase election. If you see in the Lok Sabha, recent Lok Sabha, they have made it this election in the, into the four phases. That time everybody was surprised why Maharashtra, like a peaceful state, need a four election in the four phases. So whether the ruling party need more time to campaign region by region, but that has, you know, other way help the oppositions. Opposition used the resources uh, judiciously, every uh, reason. So they got time also, and the, uh, we saw the different uh, result in Maharashtra and the, even UP also. But in the one phase election, now it is all out battle for the Mahavikas Agadi and Mahayuti. Whatever you want to do, do it on the day one only. There is no you know second day or uh, uh, left out chances. You can have the course correction in the uh, you know, later on phases, our second phases. Everything, whatever you want to do it for the Mahavika Sagadi and Mahayuti, you have to do it on that day itself. It's a big, big, you know, uh, Herculean task for the uh, Mahavika Sagadi. Uh, uh, you know, Mahayuti is already prepared. They have got big resources. Everything is in place for them. And now a big challenge for the Mahavika Sagadi. Uh, they are still, they had to finalize the sheet sharing. They had to struggling with the CM phase. So I think they have to be a quick, fast, uh, like a, you know, fast track court, uh, like a cases has been announced here. So uh, unless and until they do it, I think they will struggle. Uh, I think the, therefore the big task for the Mahavika Sagadi. Okay, uh, Amitabh Tiwari, does it make a difference between having elections in multiple phases and one phase? Uh, Sudhir Suryavanshi's theory is that in the Lok Sabha, the government learned the lesson that the more time you give with limited resources, they're able to go to different regions, do it in one big bang, and then the opposition with limited resources will struggle. Does it work like that? Or all this is post-facto analysis. Once you have the numbers, you find reasons to try and attach to them. I would say it's largely post-facto because whenever the opposition, when the four phases were announced, the opposition criticized the move but they actually benefited from it. So it's largely, see, whenever there is an election in many phases, the dates are available for each party and every star campaigner to campaign. So if Modi was available to campaign for four phases, so was Rahul Gandhi. So the, 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 the thing is largely neutralized. It's not about having different phases. It's largely now a seat by seat election. And if you see, there is a significant shift in the strategy of BJP now. From 2014 to 24, they have largely contested elections, even state elections, presidential style. But now we are seeing in uh, Haryana and even in Maharashtra, the party is going to fight a seat by seat localized election, which is very different from the strategy it has adopted in the last 10 years because 
whenever you are in power, it is very, very difficult to fight election on a prime ministerial phase or national level. Okay, issues. that's an important and point you're making. Yashwan, do you feel that way as well? That the BJP now is trying to localize election? Now, the two ways of looking at it. One, that Amitabh could be correct. BJP in Haryana did try and fight this without putting Prime Minister Modi front and center. But that's also when many of them internally thought they weren't doing well, so they want to put the PM's face up front. Do you think that strategy will continue to uh, continue in Maharashtra? Or do you think uh, that they may go back to putting Prime Minister Modi front and center? Uh, I, I believe that they might go back to put uh, PM. I mean, you see, PM has already campaigned uh, significantly in, in Jharkhand in that way because, uh, uh, I mean, that is a one state where BJP has a good chance of winning. Uh, Maharashtra, he has been trying really hard, even without, you know, uh, as a run-up to the poll. I mean, he has been there multiple times, multiple rallies, multiple projects to be inaugurated and all that. But after the Haryana thing, I think uh, he's going to take the thing in the lead. And, and as we discussed earlier, uh, you know, in the build-up to the show, that Marathwara and Vidarbha, these are the two areas where Prime Minister has to be there because in any case, it is a Congress versus BJP issue. So I'm sure Rahul Gandhi and entire Congress uh, higher rank would be there in the campaign uh, in these two regions. So Prime Minister is likely to be more okay, Sahil Joshi, 